All right, guys, welcome back to WDYD CSP with the You Do as a Central Store Processor. All right, SP camera on the assembly area. I'm going to show you how to inspect um, and lubricate the um, portion of the device that requires lubrication according to the IFU. All right, first things first is hopefully the instrumentation was dried and decontamination as it should have been dried in decon. You're going to remove the device from the container that goes into um, your rigid container. So this is the holder um, validated by the FDA, um, and approved from the, by the FDA and validated by um, Intuitive to hold their device. So we're going to inspect that for cleanliness. <clears throat> Put that over to the side and we're going to concentrate on the device itself. And okay. of course, place my indicators in there so that I do not forget them. Opposite side of the device. Okay. If you have a tracking system, this is the best time to log in so that you can track this device to make sure that it's not over its usage length. Um, because again, this instrumentation does have limitation for usage um, and processing. So be familiar with that. All right. So <clears throat> we want to inspect our um, light cord, which is connected to the device. All right. And the way you do that is you untangle it, um, as I'm shown trying to do here. All right inspect those connectors and make sure that there's no soil um, adhering to it or any other foreign matter that may find its way connecting that connector all right the um distal tip is inspected for any cracks or any kind of loose components on there that should not feel so loose okay after you've inspected and run your hand down that cord, okay, you want to be neat about it and roll that cord up so that you don't have it interfering with the next steps of your process here. Okay, we're going to coil our cable up, not too tight, not too loose. Okay, because of course I'm going to need more space to conduct my testing and inspecting of this instrument. All right, so the cord is off to the side here. All right, you of course want to inspect the housing. Make sure that there's no cracks. Okay. Make sure that it is not dripping wet. The cable is not frayed or it is disconnected. Um, you're going to look at the connection block for any kinds of damages. Um, and then the distal tip becomes a little bit more critical because there's some move, moving parts here. And not only do we have to clean it, we also have to lubricate it. Okay, check that distal tip there. Look at the glass. Make sure the glass is not cracked or that there's any adhesive or anything connected. Okay, as stated earlier with the XI inspection, if you're inspecting this, the IFU suggests four times magnification. If your scope, I mean, if your magnifier, whether it's handheld or mounted, does not meet that requirement, I suggest that you find something that does. Okay, spend your time to look at each joint and each dead space or open space as well as all the perforations on the distal tip of this device okay that's a sneaky place for um dirty items or soils to hide at because we haven't properly flushed right so make sure you're inspecting that the correct way all right guys after inspection right so we've inspected Everything looks nice and clean. What is next? All right. It's lubrication of the tip. And what brand do you have, right? Because there's different kinds. Just make sure that they are able to withstand the sterilization process of steam sterilization. 
um, and it can be penetrable. All right. So this is the distal tip of the device. There are certain points that needs to be lubricated and there's six of them all together. All right. And I'm going to count them out for you guys. So you have the moving joint, the dead space and the elbow. And then in the wrist, you have an additional four. So two in the elbow, four in the wrist. This is where you need to lubricate. Now I'm going to use the oil based lubricant because um, I feel it has better control as well as better lubricating properties. Okay. You just don't want to put a lot of it, a very small drop. So you're going to fill the distal tip of the applicator with oil and just touch it to the surface to release that oil. Too much oil is a bad thing because if it drips to the bottom of the pan because it's water inside, it can tolerate water, it will stay there, it'll dry up, and then we're going to complain. Do not touch the lens with bare hands or oil so that you do not block the field of vision. And then just manipulate that uh, distal tip from the elbow to the wrist. Making sure that the lubrication penetrates all those surfaces, okay? And there's six points. It is a joint, a space, then joint space, joint space. Lubricate those points, and then once it's lubricated, blot off the excess. Do not rub um, the oil off because you don't want to remove all the oil. You just want to remove the oil that can surface um, or drip during the sterilization process and give you a false negative. Um, so just um, place the absorbent towel on there and blot off. And this is it, guys. All right, guys, as always, stay true to yourselves. Keep 100. Continue educating yourself.